Whoa. How's it going guys? It's me Simon and in this video I'm going to show you how to connect your 8-bit do SF30 controller to your PC. So let's begin. So guys, the first thing you want to do is to download firmware for the controller to make sure that it's running at its best. To do this, we go to the 8-bit do website. The address is www.8bitdo.com. I'll put a link in the descriptions. So, once you're on this page, we want to head to support. Click on support and it'll take you to this page which has the manual. You can download that if you want to read about it. There's tools, but we want firmware. So, up to firmware and then there's pictures of the controllers and ours is the 8-bit Do SF30 which is over here and the firmware version is 1.22 so what you want to do is click on download and here they have the zip file remember this name SN30 Pro plus SF30 Pro firmware blah 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 zip file so you want to save that to a location on your computer I've already got it saved so you want to make sure you know where it is because that's the next step so once you've downloaded it let's find my one my one is just in downloads so the file that we downloaded will be this one here it's a zip file so you want to right click on it and extract all and then to a location that you will remember I just extracted it onto this page and the file is over here so open that up and then open the folder and you're greeted with this page. What you want to do is to press on this 8-bit do update pro, the one that's the icon because that's the execute file. So once you've opened up the execute file, you're greeted with these instructions. It says hold start L and R for three seconds and the yellow LED will blink and that will set the controller to update mode. First you want to press start to turn on the controller. Hold start, yep. Okay, the controller is on. So now we want to press L, R and start together and we should get a blinking light at the top. Was that it? There we go. So we got the blinking, it's an orange light, not really a yellow light. So now it's set to update mode. The next it says connect PC via USB cable. Connect to PC via USB cable. So it's still blinking. Let's get the cable out of the case and connect the micro USB style cable and the USB end to the laptop. So now it's connected, you heard the beep. So <laughs> the controller is now connected to the PC. We just press USB update, which is now available here. Let's zoom in a little bit. Yeah. USB update. And then we want the firm, use this one, the firmware dat dot dat file. Select that. New firmware 1.20 and current is 1.20. Okay, I'm just going to press update for this tutorial to show you how it works. And now it's updating. So it's finally finished updating and it says firmware upgraded. We click OK and we can close everything. Okay, once you've updated the firmware, we want to take our controller and press and hold start and X until we get two blinking lights down here. Okay, there we go. So, now that it's blinking, we leave that, put it to the side for a second, go to Windows, and Settings, we want to turn on the Bluetooth. So, Devices, turn on the Bluetooth, and now we want to add a device, a Bluetooth device. It's searching for the Bluetooth devices, Hold Start and X to get the two blinking lights. There we go. 
and then press the sync button at top so that the lights flash along the bottom Do I need to hold on to it or let go? Aha! There you go, I held on to it and now there's a controller input here so if I choose controller input it's connecting and if these lights go solid it means it's connected There we go, it vibrated a little bit and now it's connected to our laptop it's time to test it out with a game. So we are playing Bioshock Infinite on Steam with the 8-bit Doe SF30 controller. The analog stick is working and the aim with the right analog stick is nice. I can jump with this yellow button. I can punch people with the blue X. And shooting is R2. So. Let's play a bit to test it out. Was that? Whoa. So there you go guys, that is how you connect your SF30 8-bit double controller to your PC. If you enjoyed this video, leave me a like. Consider becoming a subscriber for more content like this. Thank you for watching and peace.